Hello, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Um, depending on where it is in your part of the world, wanted to do a little check in. Um, if we haven't met before, I'm Chris Gillibo. Thanks for coming in. Um, as you join, give me a little wave. Let me know where you're watching from. Yeah, we're going to talk today. I'll, well, I'll tell you a little bit more in a moment, um, but I'm excited to share something with you and have a little conversation. Uh, what's up? Good. Good to see people coming in from Egypt um, and elsewhere. It looks like, hey, 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 hey. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. What a world, what a week, etc. cetera. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that, but I also want to talk about some other stuff. This concept of creativity in the chaos. That's what I want to talk about working on this um, newsletter that I'm going to send out on Monday. Uh, somebody is in Toronto, somebody's in UK, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, I did an event in Winnipeg once a long time ago um, with Scott Young, good friend of mine. Hello from Louisiana, Brazil, from Poland, Washington, DC. Oh, you guys are amazing. So fun to see you. Um, I'm really enjoying these conversations. I am just beginning to do these like, like on the regular. I used to do them once in a while, but I feel like in this time, a lot of people are looking for connection and community. Me too. Um, so it's not a one-sided thing. Um, I love the idea of having more interactive conversations um, and sharing a couple of things, but also hearing from you. So the question I have for today, Newfoundland, currently reading The Happiness of Pursuit, Arlington, Minnesota. That's awesome. If I miss your comment, by the way, it's just because you know I'm looking at the camera, um, but I always go back at the end and read all the comments. Um, so thank you for sharing. If you have questions as well, let me know. Um, I have a question of the day for you in a moment. Um, Let's see, what was I saying? I was saying something else about, well, I was talking about Manitoba, about these conversations, uh, about a new series, et cetera, Philadelphia, hey. Um, let's just go to the question, and I'll come back to that other point. So question of the day, um, what creative project are you starting or finishing, perhaps, um, during this time? Like, here we are in this time of chaos, essentially, um, it is a resetting, it is a reshuffling of the deck. Somebody used that analogy the other day. I really liked it. So what creative project will you start during this time uh, or will you finish? And I say it that way because maybe there's something you started a long time ago, but you need to finish. So that could be it. Uh, or it's something all new um, that you've had on your mind and you're like, I'm going to use this time to do that. Um, so I'd love to hear about that. I'll tell you what mine is um, as well uh, in a moment. T plus shade is starting a podcast. That's so cool. Uh, congratulations. What, tell us more about what that's going to be. Um, let us know if you have a title um, and we can share that. So, so how are you using this time? Creativity and the chaos. What creative project will you start? You know, what will you make progress on during this time? Um, a lot of people are, you know, kind of chilling out and like watching a lot of Netflix and stuff. And that's fine. Okay. But what else can you do? Right? I think somebody said here, I want to make sure I get some of these. A brand mainly powered by print on demand and Mr. Self Tape, reading a play and creating all the sound effects and doing the voices. I love that. Um, I think this is a great time to you know, immerse yourself in something that you, know, you can look forward to, that you go to bed at night thinking about what you're gonna do the next morning, you just kind of dive into. And it really helps if that's something that you're excited about. Like I often talk about how you, you can't just you know, follow your passion to the bank, et cetera. Um, but really, you know, life is short. So if you're going to immerse yourself in something, it should be something that you are looking forward to and excited about. So we'd love to hear what you are creating, what creative project you're going to start or complete um, during this time. Oh, I got some notes I missed here. Sorry. Uh, I've been consistent with weekly episodes on the Teacher CES podcast. Awesome. The Notebook of Happiness. Love that. We, we all need the Notebook of Happiness. Um, interactive Notebook. Yes. Um, feel free to, to send me one or let me know where I can go and, and buy one. Um, and I will. Uh, what creative project will you start or complete during this time? So, um, you know, for me, this is kind of um, a, a reshuffling of the deck for me as well, because uh, I was supposed to go um, on a 40 city tour starting, is it next week? Yeah, just about end of next weekend. Um, my new book comes out, The Money Tree. I'm very excited about it. And I was going to go everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but like a lot of places. And now I'm going zero places, uh, just like everybody else. So I have been reframing that a little bit and saying, okay, what does that look like, you know, for me? And, um, you know, the honest truth is, like, sometimes we do things um, because they are the right things to do. And other times we do them because it's just what we know. 
And I think a lot of people are experiencing this now. It's like we have this pattern and we've got this plan and it's what we know. It works, you know, to a certain degree. But we do that just because we don't know any different. And so what's happening in this time is everybody's plans are changed, basically. And all of a sudden the status quo, you know, no longer exists. And it gives us this opportunity to say, okay, maybe actually that's not the right thing to do. Or maybe I did that for a while, but what should I be doing now? Like, what is like, I have to adjust to changing circumstances. Circumstances are not going to adjust to me, you know, or to you or to any of us. Like this is the, the new world order. And so for me, a lot of what I've been thinking about uh, my creative project is how can I reinvent just myself and my message that I share? How can I, you know, support this community, anybody out there that is interested in nonconformity or doing something different, uh, anybody who follows Side Hustle School wants to have more than one source of income. And so a big part of it is like, I need to do more of this. You know, I need to do more of this. So I'm putting together a series. Um, this is kind of the precursor to it. Um, but I'm going to keep doing these daily check-ins. I'll talk more about it. And then I believe at some point mid next week, I'm going to actually officially go live with it. It'll, it'll be completely free. It'll be every day um, talking more about finding opportunity in the time of uncertainty. So I will share that with you as we go along. Um, it's the kind of thing that, um, wait, I'll come back to that in one second. It's time to be creative. That's right. Let me know if you, if you're just, just joining, by the way, welcome. Um, if you have a creative project that you're going to start during this time or complete, Perhaps like if you started one before and haven't made progress, what is your creative project? What I was going to say is um, this series that I'm working on talking about where's the opportunity, how are people reframing, you know, finding creativity in the chaos and such. Um, it, it scares me a little bit. You know, it scares me a little bit because it's new for me. It's like a different a different um, medium and approach. And I think it's really good. Like, I think it's you know, you heard the whole thing about like do one thing a day that scares you or. Um, if, which is like Eleanor Roosevelt, I believe, or this is the general, general concept that if you have an idea and it, it sticks with you, um, it's a little bit frightening, but you can't stop thinking about it. Then there really is something to that. So my encouragement to you is like, I'm telling you about what I'm doing, but my encouragement to you is to find that for yourself. Like, what is that thing that scares you a little bit? Um, what is that thing that you're like, maybe I should use this time to do it. If you've been thinking about, sharing more in some, th in some way or creating a product or starting a service or whatever the thing is, could be something totally different. Um, then my encouragement to you is like, you should pay attention, you know, to what that is. That thing is there for a reason. So um, let me know if you have any comments, questions, if you have a project you want to share, you know, I, sometimes people are a little bit shy about that, but I just want to encourage you. Um, I am a tremendous introvert and I am doing this here. Um, and all you have to do is, is, you know, type something. It's a little bit easier. Um, next week, we're going to go more interactive, and I'll, I'll talk about how that works at a certain point. Let's see. Tell us about how we can deal with anxiety and fear from the future. Um, I think the first thing is to acknowledge that we are all feeling anxious. Um, we are all feeling anxious. That is our reality. And at the same time, there's a lot that we can't control. And so if you are anxious about things you can't control, then that's just going to make you more anxious. And it's not to say that you shouldn't care. It's not to say that you shouldn't do what you could, you do what you can. Like, obviously, we all should. Um, but, you know, I, I, for me, I, I could share this observation recently. I've been a lot happier once I've started not being anxious about things that are outside my control, essentially. And so I try to look what is in front of me. What can I do? It's not the answer for everything, but I think it, it might help a little bit. How to read books fast. Um, how many times do you take, to, you take to complete one book? Is that your project or are you asking me? Let me know and I'll come back to it. Any other questions? Got to go. Hey, oh yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Started a blog. Yes, is that Stesha, Stesha, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, SteshaDidThat.com. Let's all go check it out. I will do that afterwards. Love to team up with somebody who needs help on a project. Awesome. Um, so many opportunities these days in that comment field, the comment thread the other day, when I ask like, who's thinking differently, who's doing different stuff, all these different, you know, responses about I'm starting this digital, like I'm transferring a physical experience, like a yoga class or, you know, whatever else it is, uh, to a digital experience. A lot of people are doing that in different ways. I think some of those things, some of those, um, transitions are natural and are like kind of overdue. Uh, others are a little bit of a stretch and then you have someone that are kind of in the middle of like, okay, stretch yoga, no pun intended, but others are kind of in the middle in, in the sense of like, it's going to take some people time to get used to that, um, to that kind of transitional experience. Um, but you know, we all have time these days, right? 
We all have time. You did a sketch of me. Thank you. I look forward to seeing that. Thank you for showing up. Of course. I'm going to keep showing up, by the way. Cassie DePeckle, what's up? Oh, my gosh. My hero, Cassandra DePeckle. Um, first woman, youngest woman, most awesome woman to visit every country in the world. Go and check her out if you don't follow her already, which you already do because she has, you know, 10 million followers. Thank you for joining in. Yeah. So um, a few more minutes here. Creativity and the chaos. That's what we're talking about. What project are you going to like? How are you going to spend this time to start a creative project? Immerse yourself in just in something so that um, well, it's not so much like when this time ends, because that that's uncertain as well. It's just so that you have something that you are focused on and excited, excited about, because if all you do is spend your time, you know, again, doing the Netflix binge, Nothing wrong with watching TV sometimes, but uh, you're not going to be you're not going to be at peace. Like that person who asked about anxiety, that's not going to to help you. It might help distract you for a moment, um, but I think the much better thing is, um, you know, to figure out how can I use this time well. You know, how can I use this time well? Um, time is is finite. Time is limited. The time that we have now is not going to be available to us in the future. So, the alternatives there, the choice there is like. Are we going to write off this whole time? Like I know in some ways we all want to write off 2020. I get that uh, as a year. But in terms of the days, you know, like Gretchen Rubin often says, what is it like the, you know, the years are short. The days are long, but the years are short. Um, we have these long days. How are we going to spend those long days? Um, so for me, like I said, I'm reframing, trying to get the message out about my book. I'm doing, um, this is the new book, by the way, Money Tree story about finding the fortune in your own backyard, available April 7th. Um, next weekend, next Saturday, I am doing a free live virtual event. Um, and this won't just be like an Instagram you know, stream. This will actually be a very produced event um, in Seattle with my good friend Chase Jarvis and the Creative Live team. We're going to do, I think, a two and a half hour long presentation, essentially, uh, with a worldwide audience of thousands of people. And I would love for you to come. Um, the link, which I can't really type in right now, um, but it, it, I will share it afterwards. It is aonc.co slash create live, C-R-8-L-I-V-E. Maybe somebody can type that in for me. Uh, aonc.co slash create live, C-R-8-Live. Can we pre-order the book from Amazon now? Yes, you can. And that would be awesome. That actually helps a ton. Um, authors very much benefit from pre-orders. Uh, this day and age, there are like hundreds of thousands of books coming out and bookstores are like all going out of business. As we all know, they stock very few books. Even Amazon these days is actually changing a lot of their algorithms and such. And um, they're no longer doing national distribution. And this is not because of the coronavirus situation. This was actually happening a couple months ago. Um, basically, the, the long and the short of that is it's actually very important to pre-order from, you know, people from all across the United States elsewhere, uh, because that shows them that there's actually demand. Otherwise, uh, the risk is that they won't actually stock the book. And that sucks because then, you know, the book comes out, everybody hears about it from different podcasts and such, um, but they can't get it. Right. So that's why the pre-order thing is so um, important. Let's see what else other, other people are doing real quick. A couple more minutes, then we'll sign off. Hope you all are, are well. 2020 just started. There's still nine months that can be better. That's true. That's good. Respect that. Uh, someone's learning my audio software so I can finally start recording audiobooks. Um, I've hit a wall in trying to stay motivated during this time. Um, Adina, Adina, um, thank you for sharing that. I use Audacity, by the way, which is free audio software. Um, very, very easy to use, at least to do the basic stuff. I don't know all about, about the more complicated stuff. Thank you so much for pre-ordering. That's awesome. Show the book again, Chris. Yes, here is the book. The Money Tree. Um, you can check it out at moneytreebook.com. You can pre-order from there or from wherever you buy your books. Um, it will be out on April 7th, and I'm going to do, as I said, a live series that goes for a long time, not just the one next weekend, but an extended one, um, talking about it, teaching lessons from the book. Um, everything will be free. There's no like back-end course that I'm trying to sell. I just want to reach as many people as possible with this message um, because I think you know, now is the time to invest in yourself. And now is the time as people understand that their security is not going to come from a corporation. Um, the security, their security is not going to come from the government, from an organization, from anything external, right? Because externalities, you know, are constantly changing and in flux and in chaos, in fact, right now. Um, but um, within ourselves, like there's something we can make that um, something we can make, create, invest in um, that will give us the security that we need. So that's what it's all about, essentially. The Money Tree. Yes, that's good. What's that creative live link? Thank you. It is aonc.co slash create live, C-R-8 
live, L-I-V-E. I will share it right afterwards in a, in a little story. Um, so let me know if you have any other questions. Let me know if anybody has any final projects they want to share. Otherwise, I'll come back again um, probably tomorrow and every day after that. We shall see. Thank you so much for joining me. I think, you know, now more than ever, it's, uh, it's so important to, to know that there are other people in the world who see the world the same way or at least have the similar approach or a similar value. Um, so thank you for, for being that for me as well. Um, it's create live CR eight live. So actually the number, I like to make things complicated, right? Like my last name is Gillipa, which nobody can spell. So it's not create live the word it's C R eight L I V E. Um, but thank you for sharing. So you guys are awesome. You're all amazing. Um, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for being part of my world. Um, I'm still putting out side hustle school every single day, seven days a week. Listen for free at side school.com or Apple podcasts, or Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Um, and let me know what you're up to. Let me know how I can support you. And I look forward to sharing more with you. Yes, create live. Exactly. AONC.co slash create live CR8 live. I'll post it in a story. Everyone have a wonderful day. You're not alone. Take care of yourself out there. Um, be sure to check up on somebody else as well.